The speed of light would be the final solution to space industries, a big problem. Without a doubt, half of the space exploration issues encountered by companies like Elon Musk's SpaceX would be overcome because the company would no longer spend as much on energy fluids such as methane. To power, the rocket joins us as we delve deep into the new scientific findings that may lead us to assume that objects may travel at the speed of light in space. It seems like an easy solution right? However, the story changes when the theory of transporting humans, through space at the speed of light, becomes too complex for scientists to grasp even Albert Einstein, the most famous theoretical physicist of all time who invented the theory of relativity and quantum physics, demonstrated that traveling at the speed of light is impossible, but now many things have finally changed. Do you understand what I mean by speed of light? In this context, let me get it correct in a nutshell, the speed of light, as described time, it takes for your car headlight to strike any object, in front of it as soon as, it flashes you'll see that this light speed travels. As fast as it takes for you to blink your eyelid, that's what I'm talking about when humanity has advanced enough to construct light speed engines will be able to explore so many previously undiscovered areas that it will be insane. We are approaching a stage of evolution. We must contemplate that many sci-fi situations are more accurate than the reality that our five senses enable us to witness. Let us take a look at the first consideration. Many space companies would love to embrace any feasible and safe means of light speed travel, but is it conceivable to develop a sophisticated spaceship that can fly across the universe in one light year per day in the future? This is what I can say in response to the question faster than light travel necessitates technology that we do not currently possess, but one day in the future, we should be able to create an engine capable of traveling that fast, if not quicker. The universe is so vast that it can take light many years to travel from one part to another to illustrate light travels from the moon to our eyes in about one second, which means the moon is about one light second away. However, sunlight takes longer requiring about eight minutes to reach our eyes, meaning the sun is about eight light minutes away. Light from Alpha Centauri, the nearest star system to our own requires roughly four. Three years to get here, so Alpha Centauri is 4.3 light years away. Other stars and objects beyond our solar system lie anywhere from a few light years to a few billion light years out. This is why everything astronomers see in the distant universe is literally history when they study objects that are far away, they are seeing light that shows the objects as they existed at the time that light left them. While there are a lot of fascinating things you can do with light, scientists have tried to find a way to travel at the speed of light. This is interesting, as humans will finally become an interplanetary species. For instance, SpaceX billionaire CEO Elon Musk wants to form a settlement on Mars, but his explorers have to bear a minimum of five months of travel through space before touching down on the red planet. This can even reach almost a year depending on how close the two planets are, and that is with all the hazards it brings before touching down on the red planet. However, with the speed of light travel, they can make a long trip in less than four minutes. Researchers have tried many different methods to achieve traveling at a very high speed. We provide details in this video until a scientist announced the new discovery, there has always been a problem that all other methods could not solve even to achieve. 1% of the speed of light, which is still plenty fast as it can take you from Los Angeles to New York in a little over a second, is very hard, the problem in a single word is energy, any object. Moving has energy due to its motion and physicists call this kinetic energy. To go faster, you need to increase kinetic energy. The problem is that it takes a lot of kinetic energy to increase speed, to make something go twice as fast takes four times the energy, making something go three times as fast requires nine times the energy and so on. The simulator was code that could process multi-dimensional flame-let tables where each of those represents a one-dimensional version of a flame. The solution was indeed genius with different snapshots, and that posed a problem as it required a large amount of computer memory to process the argon scientists, and researchers used machine learning techniques to combat that and reduce the intensive memory requirements, and also reduce the computational cost associated with the simulation of supersonic fuel combustion NASA and the Argon Center for Advanced Propulsion and Power Research are doing a great job to perfect the design and optimize. These new cable hypersonic jets 
Argonne Center for Advanced Propulsion and Power Research generated the flame-lit table that was used to train an artificial network. The artificial neural network works like a human brain and it is a subset of machine learning that derives insights from data. Like a human brain, the network uses data from flame-lit tables to learn shortcuts to answers on how combustion behaves in wild subsonic engine environments. After a lot of trial and error, the Concorde completed its last transatlantic flight back in 2003, but commercial aviation still needs a lot more to make it work and fly faster than the speed of sound with every step. This is going closer to reality and fairly recently, in August 2020, NASA took delivery of the first F-414 GE-100 engine built by GE Aviation for its X-59 Quest plane. The plane was a unique experimental aircraft that can fly faster than Mach 1 and performs better than most high-performance aircraft at 55,000 feet now in the wake of 2022 X-59 will start its critical ground testing as progress continues towards NASA's target of first flight. This year they announced early in January that, following the X-Plane's temporary move from Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works in California to their facility in Texas, the ground testing of the aircraft will be the first flight, and NASA also said that the ground testing will be done to see if the aircraft can withstand the loads and stress that might occur during a typical flight. The team also aims to calibrate and check the fuel systems before the X-59 makes its way back to California to undergo. More tests and completion. The X-59 Quest which means quiet, supersonic technology designed by NASA and Lockheed Martin, made it into the popular sciences list of 100 greatest innovations of 2019. The plane has a pointy 30-foot nose and swept wind. That would look like a Concorde and it is devised for a specific purpose, which was to dial back the noise that is created when a supersonic aircraft create when they break the sound barrier, which will reduce the sonic boom, which could rattle windows at a ground level. To a gentle bump, this six-year project was actually designed for commercial supersonic technology research within NASA's aeronautics program and now, with recent advancements, the project has evolved into a new name, calling it the Low Boom Flight Demonstration Mission. All of the other X-Jets had their origins in military programs, and the X-59 has essentially been designed and built from scratch. Using existing systems from other high-performance aircraft he also developed a new variant of the F-414 fighter jet engine to match the X-59S, exacting performance and reliability need with the ability to accelerate and climb to a cruising altitude of 55,000 feet. Atlanta-based Hermes Corp has recently introduced a hypersonic jet that can go five times. The speed of sound, reaching Los Angeles from New York for a breakfast then make it to their 9-to-5 easily, but the logic is simple, Everything moving, regardless of speed, will spend energy in all directions, defying gravity. Another group of researchers from Switzerland, known as Applied Physics APL, put forth their own concept. Interestingly, their drive did not need any exotic material to create its warp bubble. However, their model could not go beyond the speed of light, which is the holy grail of space travel. To explain how his concept is different from those already proposed, Lentz first points to the physical structure of the classical Alcubierre drive, on which nearly all other solutions are more or less based. He said the Alcubierre solution provided an intuitive picture of what a warp drive would do, that is contract the space immediately in front of the central region containing the ship or transport and expand the space immediately behind. This shows the warp drive as a wave of curvature on which a ship will ride to its destination. Even though it is the cornerstone of warp travel, Lentz argues. It is not even the essential feature. Instead, he says a solution proposed by physicist, Jose Neiterio back in 2002 showed, that the expansion and contraction weren't necessary to transport the ship forward. That work prompted him to rethink how a warp could be created using only traditional matter and not exotic. Matter. Neiterio was able to prove that the expansion could be trivial or zero everywhere and still perform the same task of transporting a ship. This is a significant breakthrough because, it means that exotic matter that warps the space in front of the theoretical passenger, and behind them in nearly all theoretical warp drive solutions, is no longer needed. And by building on Nazario's theory, Lentz created his own variation. That he believes is even more viable because it is rooted in conventional physics. Aside from this key material difference, Lentz indicated that his solution differs from Alcubierre, and most others geometrically, due to how the energy is placed around the warp bubble. In the Alcubierre solution, the energy density and curvatures are maximally separated with the energy being restricted to a small torus between the regions of high contraction and expansion. 
The curvatures and sources in Lentz's proposal are instead highly correlated with the regions of high energy density and high expansion and contraction overlapping. Almost exactly, it is these geometric distinctions between his concept and the traditional concepts that make Lentz's proposal a potentially more viable warp solution than those previously proposed. Of course, Lentz's warp drive is still completely theoretical. He does, however, see a few steps that can be taken right away to try to move his version closer to reality, which, like all previous drive theories, includes reducing the amount of energy needed. Where does Lentz want to take his warp drive from here? He said the next target is to make a warp bubble capable of moving at 1% of the speed of light using a modern-day fission reactor. The physicist said he would consider patenting his warp drive, but he made it clear. His work is just a part of a larger, rapidly growing body of work in this area, and the recent increase in new warp drive concepts, since Alcubierre's 1994 proposal gives those in his field hope that a real, testable version may be closer than we think. Lentz said it has been exciting to see how much progress has recently been made in the field of warp drive. If you are new to the channel, remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos we upload. Thank you for watching the video. Best of luck and goodbye.